else. And in fact, I think I can have this over here somewhere. Uh, well, I'll find it later. I have like example problems and everything else. I gave you another one that Sam, and it's the sheet that I passed out. Oh, sheets, right? And that's the one that's right here, okay? Talks about significance, right? Yeah. And if you turn the page over, boom. I recommend knowing how to do that, especially uh, mm -hmm. for the test. That's my thing. All right? And if you don't have one, let me know. All right? So I'm going to get to this in a second. I'll let you guys work on it. And then we'll also work on the one that talks about black cat's IQ. All right? All right. So hypothesis testing. We Did we talk a little bit about it last time? Yes, no? Yes. Yeah. That's exactly. So the first thing is, is I'm going to go through this again. And the first thing that you want to do when you see some of these things, they give you a whole, like a whole paragraph of self. So I'm going to try to help you sort through all that stuff to make uh, what to do, all right? And then I'm going to be looking for something very similar. And in the next one to two days, I'll oh, yeah. Next one to two days, uh, hopefully tomorrow, I'll give you the answers to hypothesis. It's a... an educated guess. That's right, yes. an educated guess based upon what? About, yes? Like in a scientific experiment, like based upon what you think is going to happen? That's right, he's more of a relativistic individual talking about the Galileo method. And Galileo came up with really, which was borrowed about uh, 1,500 years before his time, which is called the Socratic method, as well as uh, logic. And we call it today the scientific method. Mm -hmm. And hypothesis testing comes around, in my opinion, for my research, well, uh, let's talk about modern mathematics, at least into the 17th, uh, uh, 17th century, with Bayes and everyone else, okay? So, since it's statistics. So the first thing is you want to set up a hypothesis. They give you a big storyline and everything else, and, the, and then you want to find out what the whole and the highs, okay? The H of O, we call that the null hypothesis. That's the claim. That means Eileen works for a company, uh, owns the company, and I work for her, I'm like that guy, the accountant. And I find, and she says, boom, this is what we claim. This is what we do. This is what's established, uh, or something to that effect, right? If I work for her, I have to, like, go with this. Now, I can come up with three possibilities for the ha, the alternative, the opposite, or something that refutes the claim. Remember I talked about old school and new school, right? You guys are the new kids on the block, not the bad, that uh, rap or uh, uh, 90s crappy band, right? Uh, but old school is the claim. We assert this. And you guys are like the scientists or statisticians that say, well, we believe that the ha is going to be the, one of the following. It depends what you're looking for. And I put all three on there, okay? The first one says, uh, I'll go back to the hope. Okay? That, I'm sorry, the null hypothesis, right? And that says the mean is some certain number, okay? Whatever it is. That's why we use mu. Sometimes it's x bar, but I don't want to, you to get confused x bar and uh, 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 the mean. So it's uh, we'll just use mu. Now, I come around and I want to prove that Eileen's telling the truth or my, uh, my stuff is bogus, all right? So I can say it's either the mu is greater than the number that, let's say, whoever claims. And I go to another company, and then let's say Sophia says, hey, well, uh, it's this number. And I say, well, it's less than, OK? And I'll talk about this right hand and left hand test. Or I can just say it's not equal, right? So if it's greater than, we're going to do a right hand test. So what does that mean, Mark? I'm glad that you asked. On a bell curve, it's going to be on the right-hand side? That's correct, as usual, Billy. I'm going to miss you guys in a week. I do. I have, like, breakdowns. You see me, like, a, in my office. <laughs> right? Okay, so something to this effect. And then there's the mean and all that other chats, right? Mm -hmm. And just like Billy said, right, so we're going to cut it off here at a certain level. And this is called the right-hand test. So that means all of this over here in the uh, unshaded area is true. And if we find a value, a p-value, okay, or you can argue and tell me, well, the z is greater than whatever we uh, account for, then we know that if it's here, it means we reject. Yes, sir. Go ahead. So okay. if the z is greater than the, um, the z sub zero, then we reject. But if it's not, then we do not reject. Right. And be careful on this because the p can be a certain value, right? And I always had to think about it because I always, I always say if it's not equal. I love the two-tail test. Because I know right away it can either go on either side. So, for example, just like you guys said, if it falls in this rejection zone, right? Well, it depends upon the level of significance, right? Did you give us a paper on that? Yes, I did, Ms. Ripper, I did. And the level of significance, we'll talk about that very shortly, all right? You see right away I'm starting to zzz, and I don't mean to, because I just like what I'm doing. So if this was a 0 0.1, that means uh, this would be 90%, and then you look up on the Cambridge. You can go into the Cambridge for that Z value, okay? And then you can compare the P's, okay? They, they flip. You know, you can either say, well, 
you know, our uh, Z values right here, right? Whatever, let's say Eileen's company claims, and Sammy Cat <coughs> finds, boom, that Z is even greater. That means we have evidence that suggests that we don't like your Z. Oh, <laughs> or we have something inside the camel hump, right? And then it says she's spot on as usual. She's going to become a chemie, so she better have her data squared away. Right? Especially you're making food. Yes? Is the level of significance, is that a Z score or a That's probability? That's a P value. Yes. It, they're, they're interchangeable, right? You ever notice that the Z and the P switch or they're c complementary to one another? So if I said the P value is 0.05, then you know the other stuff is 0.95, right? Or whatever it is. You, you, you see what I mean? That's 95%. So if I said that this is, I'm going to get to that in a second. If this is 0.05, then psh, all of this, wherever it falls into, is true, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir? You mean T-value is in the other thing on the chart, the Z, the T? Yeah, value. yeah, all that stop in the chart, right? The probability. Yes, probability. Oh, okay, so yeah, P is probability. Z, yeah. P, P to Z. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. what we're doing. I prefer if you just keep it Z's and compare the Z's. Yeah. Okay, that's neat. But if you want to, they, they do this, okay? And you guys have, um, what is it, uh, Desmond? Desmond. Davis. Davis, Mr. Davis. He's taking stats, so I'm always like, oh, they talking about this. He's like, yeah, they said Clayton. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, that's right, they said Clayton. So I have to try to, I'm, Trying to get back to my old college ways. All right, so two tail. Uh, so this one, as you know, is going to do something like this. All right, cheesy picture. It's going to be over here, where mm -hmm. R we reject based upon the P value or the Z of whatever, right? It's going to be more negative or whatever it is, okay? Okay, and then finally is the undoubtedly this perfect Sammy Cat test, right? Mm -hmm. Where it falls either here or here, right? The P value, the P value, or the Z is neg mm -hmm. more negative or more positive. So what they do, Ryan, is they just set the absolute value and it doesn't care, right? So if the absolute value, right, is greater than the, the P value or the Z value, whatever Eileen says, then we reject. Okay? So far so good? Well, how do we do all this rejection, Sophia asked. That's all great. How do you do it? We do a test stat. Okay? And to perform a test stat, stat we use what you've been seeing forever, right? Is how to do the Z score. And that's why I got rid of the X bar on top, okay? That's why I use mu. So you're like, well, which one's mu, which one's X? So this is the one that you, I found in the data, right? I pulled that out, 75 choices or whatever it was, and, and then I, I'm testing that portion. I don't test the entire population. It's impossible, right? That parameter is absolutely impossible. Imagine telling us how many people are going to be male or female in the United States at this moment. It's impossible. Or how many people vote for a certain candidate. Mm -hmm. it's, it's roughly impossible to tell us the exact thing because it's always changing its dynamic. So what we do is we do test statistics or samples, right? And so we're going to use this right here, the Z, right? And this will be given to you, right? You sub not because it's a, this guy right here, right? Yeah, not bad. And then now we're going to get into the next portion of level significance. Now, since I work for Eileen, right? She's like, oh, she'd love that. I do like that. You guys will make me like, you know, bale hay or coal or whatever, you know, shovel coal like my grandfather did. My grandfather had two big things. He said two things. He said, Mur, I said, Mark, yeah, yeah they called me Mur a couple times, right? Until I got a rank in the army. He said, You want to use your brain or you want to use your back? And uh, I always went for, well, I want to use my uh, brain. And he said, Fine. He threw me in his study. He said, See those? Those encyclopedias? I started A. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It was funny. It wasn't at the time, but now it's funny. Right? Yeah. And so on. So all right, so let's talk about the p-values, the level significance. I gave you a sheet about it, talks more about it in, in de detail. And this is where we're talking about extremes, right? See, Eileen says, hey, it exists here, here, or here, whatever we're doing, right? I'm saying if it's an extreme, it's on the outside of the tails, or either on the left or the right-hand side of the tail, right? If it's in that zone, we reject, all right? Not bad. So if it's an extreme reserve, then, then we know what's going to happen, right? Now, based upon the conclusion, we compare the H, the, uh, the Z's and the P values. We can either say it's failure to reject, right? We don't reject it. You keep my value, she says to me, or whomever. And so that means she's true, okay? Now, I wrote this in, as H of A is false, my claim's false, but it's really, uh, we really want to say something a little better to the effect of it's not statistically significant, okay? That's another way. It's, so it's not like I win, you lose, but... Uh, she runs the company. Of course she's going to say that, right? Or whoever's in power, maybe not her. She's more altruistic than you think, right? So if we reject it, that means the ha is true, alternative, and then the other guy is uh, now 
we eliminate it or remove it or whatever it is, okay, based upon the data. And the final thing is what I like for you guys to do, I went one, there's like four steps, three steps I gave you in that previous sheet. Four steps. Four steps. It doesn't matter as long as you give me some of the details that I have here explained. And that's just you state to one to two sentences that there, that it is either statistic, stat sig, significant sig stat, right? Or it's not based upon what you found. So if it's, yes, I found data, this is it, boss. You know, she has to be like, well, you found the data, you found, you found where the glitch was, right? Or if you didn't find it, then I didn't find anything worthwhile. But you're really doing the sample thing. See, she runs, she's the population, or you guys, women are the population, greater population than males. So they have more, uh, 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 the, the pool is bigger. So I only took a selected sample, and we can talk about the errors that are associated with that sample. Michael could say, he comes to me as a fellow technician, says, hey, Murmur, you, you chose the wrong section. You should have chose over here instead of here. That would be a stat one error or two error accordingly. All right? Not bad so far? Lays it all out, the groundwork. And we're going to do one together, and then I'll let you guys work on for the remainder of time. Sandy Cat Favor. Okay? And I do have the answer. Yes, sir. So I t I'm trying to do some of the problems yeah. based upon the information. Uh -huh. So, like, would I be able to show these to you and see if I sure. do it correctly? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about this one here, all right? Uh, Sam wanted to do this one, okay? So I have to go get it. Oh, here's his answer that he gave me. Good. All right, Sam. So it says something to the effect, I'll just read it aloud. Black Cat's IQ average is 100, okay? On the Stanford Binet, uh, circa 1928, if you're really following, okay? Which you're not. With a standard deviation of 15, right? So that's the, you can already see someone's trying to propose something, right? Mm -hmm. Then it says, uh, Sam now believes that the value has changed and decided and decides to test the IQ of 75 other random pussycats, black cats, right, where the sample contains uh, cats with an IQ of 105. So he's like going around and go, hey, what's your IQ where he does a test? And he finds out what their IQ is, right? It's a pretty smart cat. Right? Is there enough evidence to suggest the average IQ has changed in black cats? Hmm. And it says use an LOS. What's an LOS? Oh, I said an LOS. It says alpha is 0.05, right? I'll always try to help you give the alpha, okay? All right? Not bad. I'll let it rest and so on, yes? And then we'll continue on, all right? Ooh, look, remember this stuff? Bayes' theorem is in 1763, but nobody cares. Can we write that one? If you want. Or you can take a picture of when I finish. Okay. She's like, yeah, I want it. Okay. All right? And we're working on that on our own? If you like to, like, you want to give me a few minutes? Sure. Yeah. yeah, instead of me like, you know, drum rolling it, okay? You guys work for about five, seven minutes? No. No? no. Okay, so. Yes? I must have. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, one, you're going to start here, right? And then two, I'm going to give you a hint. You want to do a two tail test. <sighs> yeah. Because it's not equal. Do you, what equation, where, why, how? All right, let's work our way through it so we can get it. All right, all right. So, I want you to semi struggle. Even even though your IQ is above 125, okay? Yours is more than 125. Let's hope. Oh, uh, you'd be surprised. I I I can I sniff stuff out. Okay. I already wrote everything down. Boom! Look at that. Average. It's like. So like the average mean. Ooh, I love what you're saying. And anybody need some help for me to come around and? Uh, sample that they want. Blah blah blah. 75 in the sample. The same thing for the original. It's Monday. Oh, no. Where's my That's the level. So, did you reject it or not? You didn't reject it. You didn't reject it. And it was like, uh, you're talking about. This looks good. You did 165? I did, I did 196. Yeah. And what's Sammy say? But therefore, it's going to be what test? We're going to say two tail, right? Not 100. Now, you could do either, right? You could do any one of them. I'm going to try to point out for you to do which one. Yes. Well, can you do greater than? You can do greater than. Yeah. yeah. I like to, this covers my everything, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so far, so good? Yeah. Now, the next one, we already did one, right? This is two. What's three? Three says what? Well, you do the Z stat, right? And to save some time, what'd you get for the Z stat? 2.89. 2. 2.89. 2. Yeah. Z up to the test statistic is 2.89. Yeah. Now, what's it mean? Always draw a picture, all right? 
-hmm. Now, I think I did this pretty well, right? This is the two uh, table, right? Now, this is going to be what? 0 0.025, 0 0.025, because you take the alpha and divide by 2. Because it's a two tail. If it wasn't a two tail, then it's exactly what it would be. Okay? Yeah. I didn't do that yet, but I have to. I'm getting to it. So, that's so this is that's right. This is 0 0.95, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's 95 percent that we're gonna 19 times out of 20 that it's gonna be 100, right? Uh -huh. If we get anything that's outside that region or wherever here, this is to reject, right? Reject. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. In the back. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad, Green Lantern? All right, so here we go. So what did we get? The Z, I didn't even have to do the P's or anything, right? This is 2.89, right? Uh -huh. yeah. He's on the tail. What does it say for a two-tail test? Reject it then. Reject. Which means that they're significant. He already did it. He already did it. Okay, yep. okay, wait, wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. How are we supposed to know that, though? Because you, you know... It's 1.64. Four, five. I got one. Well, all right. Well, I did 1.96 because it's 95, right? I know there's a right because uh, 0.95 is. Yeah, a different one for 95. I know, but all right. If you did 1.645, it still works, right? This is 1.645. Yeah. This is positive 1.645. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's still 2.89, right? All right. So Way it's through great, the roof. It's greater than 1.645. So, so it makes complete okay, sense. Totally right. Okay. So okay. even if I did 196196 there, yeah. and what yeah, I might do is. As I'll say, you know, on the test, use Cambridge or mine, or I shouldn't say mine, but the, the college, real world. Okay. I think what they're doing is they're just doing one tail or whatever. But this is a two tail, right? Boom. So this says reject. Mr. Murmur. Okay. Ace of all. Go ahead. So where did you get the 0 0.025 from? I got the 0 0.025 because alpha was a two tail, right? Mm -hmm. And since it's a two tail, Nick, this is a great question. I have to take alpha, this is alpha over 2, right? Alpha over 2? Uh -huh. I take it and divide it, but whatever the alpha is, by 2, if it's a two-tail test. So Michael says, I'm going to do a point, because it was 0.05. This is a really good one, right? 0.01, the low. If, if Michael says, I want to do a 0.1 and, and do a, uh, what is it? Uh, a two-tail test? So Michael says, I still got 0.9 here, but this is 0.05 and 0.05, right? You see the difference? Okay, you're making it... And you're so combining it more, right? Making it more narrow. More than so we all reject, yeah. and then you say up here, right. next step is we you know, found, or uh, there is, and here it is, Sammy found. There is statistic, significant statistical evidence to, to reject the null. That's it. I'll say it again. Hold on, Ryan. There is, this situation, there is significant statistical evidence to reject the null based upon our findings. Okay. Game over. Okay? Okay, so... I if I did this right, I think I did. So down <laughs> Go ahead, come on up. Z-score for this, because we said that uh, it, it gives you the alpha, which means that's the length of the tail. Right? Yes, yes. So if you put one of them here, that means that everything, or you put half of, you take half of this, and you half put of the alpha here, and put the other half here. Right? Yes. Yes. So that means less than this. Anything that falls inside here is we yeah, accept. But this z score is equal to all of the stuff less than I have a table, right? The z score is all of it, right? But the, this is the rejection zone. This is the accepting zone. H O exists. Whatever we found here. For example, if you found a 1.4. Uh, for a Z, it's good. If you found a, if you found a, a Z that's comparable, uh, that's comparable good. If you found 7.97, no good. Minus 5 on the Z, no good. Reject. Okay. So, question. Go ahead. If, if the Z score we pick, so the Z score as to any certain point on the table corresponds with the probability of it being less than yes. that, right? Yes. So, it depends upon the test. Okay, yeah. So, like a normal distribution curve, that's usually how it works. Though. Right, but is it the one tail test or two tail test? Yeah. Right, well, this is a two tail test. So okay, this, I did the, 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 not necessarily the harder one, but the, it covers all our yeah. bases, right? Because you could have got a negative, right? Yeah. yeah. So, if you put, so if this z score is a z score that corresponds to 95% on the table. Right? Yes, yes. But at the z score, less than, it's. 0.95 plus also this 
stuff here, right? Whatever this, okay, so if it falls within here, it's okay. The null is good. If it falls, let's say, minus 1.8 for the Z, throw it out. Yeah. Or I shouldn't say throw it out, you throw the null out, right? Because it yeah. means that that's an extreme value. So that means it's statistically significant that Sam so you're not, you're not setting up a new hypothesis exactly. You're just saying this one's wrong. I'm saying and yes. It's yes. Okay. Right. For here, yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yes, I'm saying that there's enough evidence to refute what Eileen or so, that they think. So pretty much to the same Eileen. extent, all the questions are pretty much like this. This. Yes, I'll get you the answers. Do, like do those steps. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Plug and chug yes. like this. Yes. 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 And there you go. I can do that. That is a good. Oh, good. Thing. And take a picture and give that back to Miss Rowley. Oh, you can. Okay. I can. I don't know. That's, sure. There. Uh, all right. Not bad. 